Hello, I am telling you the story of another English classic, Emma by Jane Austen. I am telling these stories because seven-year-old Adya, studying in second standard, wants to hear more and more stories. So I thought I will tell you stories for everyone. Emma is a young woman of 20 years. She lives in Highbury in England. She has a hypochondriacal father. What do you mean by a hypochondriac? That means he is imagining that he is very ill, very sick. And she is now feeling lonely, our Emma, because her governess, Miss Anne Taylor, has married a neighbor called Mr. Weston. Mr. Weston had married already earlier and he has a son from that marriage. Now, this is his second marriage. Getting me guys? So, when Emma is feeling lonely, she gets to uh, deal with the life of Harriet Smith. Now, who is Harriet Smith? Harriet Smith is an orphan girl. She has no money, no social status, no friends. And Emma decides to organize her life. So, Emma is feeling very important and smug. And she is taking care of Harriet. This is called patronizing. You should not do that. You should not unnecessarily interfere with people's lives and patronize them. Emma's friend is there, her neighbor, George Knightley. George Knightley's brother, John, is married to Emma's sister, Isabella. George Knightley is a very quiet and very uh, intelligent young man. And George Knightley tells Emma, don't interfere with other people's lives. Don't manipulate Harriet Smith to do what you want. Emma doesn't listen to him. And when the local farmer, Robert Martin, proposes to Harriet Smith, Emma tells Harriet, reject him, don't marry him. He's no good. Actually, he was a good man. But Emma says, don't marry him. Emma is planning to get Harriet Smith married to Mr. Elton. Who is Mr. Elton now? Mr. Elton is a young clergyman. And Emma tries to get Mr. Elton to marry our poor Harriet Smith. But Mr. Elton has his eyes on Emma. Mr. Elton wants to marry Emma. Emma is like, what? No! At this time, uh, in Highbury, who arrives? Mr. Weston's son, Frank Churchill. He comes there. Who is Frank Churchill? Frank Churchill is the son of Mr. Elton by the first marriage. He's smart and Emma becomes his friend. At this time, Emma thinks that Harriet Smith will be a good match for Frank Churchill. And she decides to get uh, Frank Churchill interested in Harriet Smith. Meanwhile, our Harriet Smith is interested in whom? Harriet Smith wants Emma's friend, George Knightley. George Knightley is a very warm, intelligent, quiet man. Emma actually loves George Knightley. But now Harriet Smith thinks, I want to marry George Knightley only. Emma gets two shocks. One, she does not want Harriet to marry George Knightley. She wants George Knightley for herself. Two, she discovers that Frank Churchill is already engaged to a very pretty girl called Jane Fairfax. Emma did not even know this before. She made a big mistake. What will she do now? She is in trouble because she has been messing with Harriet Smith's life. 
luckily for Emma, George Knightley proposes to Emma. And Robert Martin once again proposes to Harriet Smith. So, Emma marries George Knightley. Robert Martin marries Harriet. No more problems. Everything solved. But Emma learns a lesson from all this. Emma learns that you should be mature. You should not interfere with other people's lives. Don't meddle with other people's lives. Behave better. Mind your own business. Will you mind your own business? Don't meddle with other people's lives, okay? So with that, bye-bye. I will be back with more stories. All of these stories are coming because the sweetheart girl Adya wants to hear more and more stories. I hope like Adya, you also enjoyed this. Bye-bye.